Hello everyone, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. And I know, I know what you're probably thinking right now. What is going on? Katie has popped up in my subscription box a week after her last video like this. this has not happened in a very long time. But you know what? New year, new me. You girls are trying to be consistent. Don't get used to it, but I'm trying here. So hey, how you guys been since I last saw you last week? I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be doing my go-to glam look. I actually have a friend's birthday to go to tonight. It is a boat party. So I thought that I would get ready with you guys and show you my go-to glam look for birthdays, special occasions, you know, brand events. It's just my go-to full face makeup look. I know it's reliable, it's gonna last throughout the night, it looks good in photos, you know, I don't need to touch up, and it's pretty quick and easy. And I'm gonna be showing you some techniques that I like to use when I'm actually leaving the house and I need my makeup to last, <laughs> because when I film makeup tutorials, like once I finished, I will literally just go eat and then take it all off because I have nowhere to be, no one to appreciate all the hard work that I just put into my makeup. So when I do need my makeup to last, I use a few different techniques. So yeah, I really hope that you are excited to watch today's video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel, check out my Instagram, which is linked down below. And yeah, let's just go ahead and jump straight in. Okay, so I still don't know if I prefer to do my brows before my base or after. I like to do them before because then you can sculpt out the brow, make them look nice and sharp and precise. But then once I apply powder, I find that sometimes the powder can like build up in the brow. I'm still on the fence about it. It really depends on my timing and like the level of effort that I'm willing to put into my brows. I think today I'm going to shape them with a brow pencil first, then do my base. I can, you know, clean them up a little bit. And then once I've done my powders, I'll go in with a brow gel. So yeah, that's the plan. And to start off my brows, I'm going to take the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is my fave brow pencil it just does exactly what I need it to do <laughs> lately I've been going for much more of like a natural brow well natural for me at least um, I was just finding that I was going a little bit too hard out on the brow pomade like literally I used to fill my whole brow in with brow pomade um, and it's just looking too like in your face so now I've been going for much more of like a fluffy brow and literally just like filling in the tail. But for special occasion, I do still want that like shape and definition. And then I'll just go in with a tiny bit of brow pomade just to help it last. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just kind of creating this shape at the moment, giving myself more of an arch making my brow just a little bit thicker and longer. And then once I reach the beginning of the brow, I'm just using a really light hand, creating a really faint line under the brow. I'm not worrying too much about the top of the brow here, just because I will be brushing up those hairs. And then I'm just gonna fill in the rest of the brow. Another thing I've been doing recently is lifting like the tail of my brow a little bit normally i would be like you know pointing it a little bit more downwards but i find kind of lifting the end of the tail of my brow has like lifted my whole face if that makes sense okay so after spending probably like a thousand years of trying to get my brows to look somewhat even it's now time to pop some brow pomade on this is the chi chi brow pomade in medium brown. This is my fave and I'm taking that on the Morphe M518 brush and I'm doing this just to darken up the end of my brow. Also so that, you know, sometimes the tail can like smudge or if someone like kind of like bumps you or something, it rubs off your tail. That's not a good look. So this also ensures that my brow is not going to move throughout the night. 
and it also just helps to really sharpen up that end. Okay, so keep in mind that we will be coming back to the brows a little bit later on, but this is good enough for now. I mean, brows is probably my least favorite step. It's definitely the most time consuming step, so I wanna move on. So I'm now gonna take the Cover FX Grouping Primer and Firming Primer. Now this is my fave for keeping my makeup on and lasting throughout the day. My clients love it. It has like this really tacky feel to it. So it really helps to like stick my foundation and all the products that I apply on top to my face. <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply this to my brush. Oh gosh, as I said, I use it on my clients. So it's running low. Okay, there we go. This is the Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. I'm just gonna apply this straight to my skin. Do you see that little bit of like tackiness? That's what really helps the foundation last. So I don't currently have any skin concerns. I feel like I really need to touch wood right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna move straight onto foundation and I'm gonna be taking the Tarte Face Tape. This is in the shade Medium Sand. I just love this foundation. It has really nice coverage, but doesn't feel or look like heavy or cakey. It just sits really nicely on my skin. And I'm gonna be using the Nakia Joy Cosmetics Sponge to apply this today. I always love applying my foundation with a sponge. I find that it like soaks up any excess product, so it makes my base look, you know, maybe more natural, a little less heavy, if that makes sense. Most of the time when I do tutorials though, not gonna lie, my sponge is either dirty or I'm just being super lazy and I don't wanna get up to go dampen it. So I always just kind of reach for a brush, but when I do use a sponge, I always find that my base looks super nice. And I'd say this foundation has kind of like a natural satin matte finish. Like it's not completely matte, which I love. It's funny because I used to be obsessed with completely matte foundations, but I really do love a subtle like glow to my skin. But I also love that this isn't like super dewy. Like I like to add my own highlight if that makes sense you know start off with more of a matte complexion and then add the glow when i'm applying highlighter so once i get to the brow i'm just taking the sigma concealer brush and i'm going to start to carefully carve out the brow i'm just going to be going straight in with this foundation all over my lid So for concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. And I know everyone and their cat uses this concealer, but I mean, it does the job, you know? It has really nice coverage, sits beautifully under the eyes, brightens the under eye area. So it's just my go-to. It's super full coverage, so you only need a little bit. I just like to apply it under the eyes and to the center of my face just to add a little bit more depth and dimension to the face. So to set everything, I'm taking the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Powder. Again, like all these products, it just works really well for me. You know, no complaints. It doesn't have any flash pack, which is perfect because, you know, we're gonna be on a boat at night and there's gonna be flash photography. So yeah, I'm just taking this and I love to go in with my damp sponge, dip into the powder and then press it onto my skin. I find that this really helps to lock those liquids into place, create a really seamless finish. If I haven't got time 
I, or like in my tutorials where, you know, I don't really need the makeup to last. I will just grab a brush. But if I have got time, I do find that this step really helps to make my makeup last longer and I can tell the difference, you know? So for contour, I really don't do much for this step. I will literally just take the Benefit Hula bronzer and just take the brush that it comes with and just create a little shadow pull up my cheek just like this just to kind of enhance my natural shadow and then that is literally it moving on to bronzer now my usual go-to is the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer but recently I have been loving this one from Too Faced it was part of their like Christmas gingerbread house collection this is in the shade Get Toasty. Let me see if I can show you. As you can see, it's a little bit darker than my Marc Jacobs bronzer, but it still has a really nice like warm brown tone, which is what I love. Sometimes I can find that the Marc Jacobs bronzer is a little bit too light for me, depending on my tan. And I thought, especially as there's going to be a lot of flash photography tonight, I thought it'd be really nice to have a nice bronzy look to my skin um so i'm gonna go in with this one on my morphe m527 brush i'm just gonna go around the perimeters of my face so my go-to blush is usually something quite neutral like i really love this one here from sigma it's just a really nice pretty neutral pink i mean what more can i say about it it goes with literally every look i also really love um like a brownie peachy blush as well i think that's so flattering so yeah i'm going to take this one today from sigma in the shade cotta rosa of course if you are shopping with sigma you can save some money using my code katie 10 just in case you wanted to <laughs> and i'm just taking that on the apples of my cheeks and bring it up towards my temples and this is just going to add that really nice flush of colour back to the face. So I have a few go-to highlighters, like I love the Jouer highlighters, um, the Benefit Tickle. It really just depends on what look I'm going for and the colour that I want. So today I'm feeling like a subtle gold highlighter. I think that will look really nice. And you can never go wrong with this product. I absolutely love it. It is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. And this is actually a little collaboration with Bretman Rock. And this is in the shade Thimble. Oh my god, it is just so reflective and beautiful. I'm seriously obsessed with it. So I'm just going to load up my brush with it. And then just straight on to the high points on my cheeks. Oh my god, I love it. And then I always like to go back in with my blush brush just to make sure everything is nice and seamless. And while I'm here, I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just pop that in my inner corner just to help go right in that area. Okay, so my next step, I love to take the Mario Badesco Facial Spray and I find that this really locks everything into place. So now that we've applied all of our powders, I want to finish off my brows real quick. So this is one of my fave brow gels and it's super affordable. It's from L'Oreal. It's their Brow Artist Plumper. So I'm just going to lightly take that and brush my brow hairs with this. And I love brow gels, not only because they darken your brows and make them look more defined, but they also make my brows look, you know, fuller, more bushy and fluffy. And then I'm going to go in with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I love this stuff. It's literally like glue for your brows. I'm just going to brush up the start of my brow hairs and then brush the rest of them into their natural position. 
So for my eyes, I actually like to keep things pretty simple. I think firstly, because I haven't got time to do an eyeshadow look. And secondly, most of the time I'm like, yes, I'm just going to do a nice neutral look. And then next minute, it's like a rainbow cut crease, you know? So I think you can't go wrong with a black winged liner. It is my go-to. And my choice of liner honestly depends on what hasn't run out at the time. Like currently one of my faves, the Sam Marcel liner has run out. So today we're going to be taking the Tarte Tartist, what is this, double take eyeliner, it has a pencil and a liquid side. So yeah, I'm just going to take this today and I just like to create a little wing and I have got hooded eyes, so I don't like to make my winged liner too, too thick because otherwise I find that it will cover a lot of my lid space and make my eyes look smaller. And what I've been loving doing lately is creating a tiny little point in my inner corner. And I find that this really elongates my eye and kind of creates like a sexy look, if that makes sense. Okay, so she's looking a little rough. My boyfriend is literally gonna be here in 20 minutes, so we need to keep it moving. It's actually so fitting that I'm a little bit rushed right now because me rushing and doing my makeup, getting changed, doing my hair, yada yada, is literally part of my routine. Like, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> so time for mascara, and I can never go wrong with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a little mini from the Christmas collection. And something I like to do is actually go back in with my black winged liner and run that along the back of my lashes because sometimes they can get a little bit like white from all the powder that we've put on the face so this just helps to blacken them up again and make them look nice and thick and then I just go back in with some more mascara to push those lashes back up also just taking this my bottom lashes I have come to the conclusion that I must be allergic to lash glue or something. Literally every time I apply falsies, they burn and sting. Several times throughout filming, I will have to pause and just put eye drops in, let my eyes water, do their thing. It's so annoying. But I've come across these lashes as actually at the launch event for these. These are by Allure and they are a collaboration with Chloe Morello and they are outer corner lashes which is great for someone like me because I found that most of the time the stinging and burning was coming from my inner corner. You know it was just a really irritated area so having outer corner lashes is perfect for me and it just adds like a little bit of lift to the eye so yeah i'm gonna pop these ones on today babe stressing me out just being here you know why you get stressed out you know what do i know you gotta leave soon <laughs> stop stressing me out Final step, lips. Now, I used to love going in with a liquid lipstick just because it does last, but I found that throughout the night, my lips would be looking so gross and dry and cracking, and I was like, you know what? I'd rather do a quick touch up and have my lips looking on point than them looking crusty and dusty. So, I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty a uh, Power Bullet Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Girls Trip. It's a nice like nude neutrally pink, but I love a little bit of a brownie undertone. So I'm gonna start off by lining my lips with the Chi Chi Lip Liner in Centerfold. And this lip liner is also gonna help my lip products last longer. I and mean, even though this is a matte product, I don't find that it makes my lips look dry and even though it's not a liquid lipstick, I do find that it lasts pretty well throughout the night. And lately I've just been all about that glossy lip, so I'm going to take the Astralis Girl Boss High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Lovebird, a really gorgeous nude. I'm just going to pop that over the top. 
And there you have it guys, this is my finished go-to glam look. I love it, I think it is so flattering on literally everyone. And it's pretty quick and easy, and I know that I'm gonna feel confident in it throughout the night. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed and you maybe learned something. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I need to go now because I'm running late, so I will hopefully be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.